हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर भूमि मांडलिया फॉर दिस वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस द प्रॉब्लम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स दैट मींस हाउ टाइप मींस व्हिच टाइप ऑफ प्रॉब्लम वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस सब्जेक्ट आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सी in order to choose the most appropriate method for a particular problem it is necessary to analyze problem along with several key dimension that means we must have some of the key dimension to solve a problem that means problem may be recoverable problem may be ignorable problem may be having ignorable steps all these characteristics we are going to study in two parts okay in first part we are going to study some characteristics and in the other part we are going to cover the remaining characteristics so the first characteristic of the problem is that is the problem decomposable into a set of sub problems that means problem can be divided into a set of sub problems so it can be solved easily second is can solution steps be ignored or undone next is is the problems universe predictable that means um, the state space of the problem is predictable or not next is is a good solution to the problem obvious without comparison to all the other possible solution is the desirable solution a state of world or a path to a state next is is a large amount of knowledge absolutely required to solve a problem seventh is is human interaction required so these seven characteristics we are going to study in two parts okay some of the characteristics we are going to study in today's session and in next session we will complete this topic so the first characteristic that is the problem decomposable so in this case we have taken an example of an integration problem so integration is symmetric on the basis of plus operation so we have divided this term in two parts that x square plus bx 3x dx so x square dx is one part and 3x dx is another part so x square dx is having x cube by 3 and 3x dx is equals to 3x square by 2 so this we have considered that is the problem decomposable so this problem can be decomposed into two sub problems why because integration is symmetric on the basis of addition operation okay so the problem is decomposable now see if we are having the another example that blocks world problem blocks world problem is not decomposable see we are having c lied on a and we are having a lied on b and b lied on c getting my point so see if we want this on b comma c and on a comma b so we have divided the problem in two parts the problem is connected with and operation so we have divided in two parts so on b comma c and on a comma b is divided in two parts so if we want on b comma c then it can be easily possible why because a is not clear right now that means a is not clear that means what that a is having c on it okay so we can say that clear of a is not possible and on a comma b is not possible so that is why we can say blocks world problem is not a decomposable problem now can solution steps be ignored second characteristic is can solution steps be ignored that means what the solution steps can be ignored in eight puzzle problem there are three classes of this type of problem one is ignorable second is recoverable and last is irrecoverable okay so in this case if this is the example of eight puzzle problem so in eight puzzle problem once you have moved six on the position down see 6 is available on the down after arrow operation so 6 is available on the down position so that solution step can be ignored that means you will be able to backtrack okay ignorable is the theorem proving recoverable that is eight puzzle and irrecoverable is a chess problem in theorem proving once we have calculated a uh, once we want to prove one, one statement let us say equation number 1 is given so that equation number 1 can be ignored it cannot be used further so that is possible in theorem proving so in theorem proving our step is ignorable in eight puzzle our step is recoverable and in chess 
once the move is selected by some player then that move cannot be backtracked so that is irrecoverable problem now next is is the universe predictable that means universe predictable that is in 8 puzzle you will be able to judge that where your problem will be kept after 3 or 4 operations ok that means your universe will be predictable in case of 8 puzzle problem universe is not predictable in case of breach breach that means just like a thin patti or we can say kachu pool so in that case whatever we are playing it totally depends on the cards of other players ok that means in case of thin patti or we can say breach we can say that our universe will not be predictable next is is a good solution absolute or relative that means a good solution is absolute or relative means for that whether we have the statement whether whether we have we are having the problem solution which is only one or not that means what see let us have an example marcus was a man marcus was a pompian marcus was born in 40 ad all men are mortal all pompians died when volcano erupted in 79 ad no mortal lives longer than 150 years it is now 1991 ad so what i want to say to you people from all this sentence we want to answer a question that is marcus alive right now so from these sentences we will be able to conclude that marcus is not alive right now and there are so many there are two to three ways to prove that is marcus alive right now or not for example let's say marcus was a pompian and marcus was born in 40 ad Okay, Volcano erupted in 14, 17, 79 AD. So we can easily conclude that Marcus is not right now alive because he might have died in 79 AD. Okay. One another solution to this problem that no mortal lives longer than 150 years. Okay. So Marcus born in 40 AD. So definitely he can live only and only up to 190 AD. But right now it is 1991 AD. So Marcus is not alive right now. So we can conclude this fact by so many ways. Now see, in this one we are we have given that how we can solve the problem. So Marcus was a man is from number one. Men are mortal is number four. Marcus is mortal from one comma four. So by using axiom number one and four, you will be able to say that Marcus is mortal. Marcus born in 49 AD, that is number 3. Right now it is 1991. Marcus's age is 1951 years from number 3 and number 7 that you can conclude. Okay, but no mortal lives longer than 150 years. So Marcus is also dead. So from 8, 6 and 9 you will be able to conclude this. Okay, now see one another solution is given as I told to you people. So, see previous problem was the relative problem because so many conclusions can be possible so many ways to solve the problem is possible now tic-tac-toe is a problem in which multiple solutions are there but it is not considered that a player has won in how many moves so there is not comparison between various states so in tic-tac-toe you can have any number of moves and you will not be able to decide that in how many number of moves the player has won so that is why solving fact is a relative problem and tic-tac-toe is an absolute problem. Okay, so these are the some of the characteristics that we have studied for problem. The remaining characteristics we are going to come in, continue in next session. Okay, so likewise we will be able to continue uh, complete all seven characteristics of problem. So thank you for being your attention. Thank you students.